So my name is Joey Greenstone. I am the founder and lead medicine person for Wachum Awaken, which is the Wachuma slash San Pedro uh, healing program here in the Sacred Valley of Peru, near Cusco, Peru. And I've been here living in Peru for the last uh, 11 plus years. I was originally called uh, to this country to uh, work with, with plant medicines. Specifically, I began my path with uh, the ayahuasca medicine in the Amazon rainforest. And then after a number of years in training uh, with that medicine, then I switched to Wachuma, which is a sacred plant medicine uh, of a cactus and, uh, in the Andes Mountains. I had arrived at a point in my life <clears throat> and on that, <clears throat> that particular path with, with ayahuasca where there was some uncertainty and it felt like things were shifting. And uh, I was really looking for some guidance in my life at that point to see if I was going to continue along that ayahuasca path or if something else was, was out there. And it was at this time that I had a, a series of very, very powerful dreams that I understood to be uh, the spirit of the Wachuma medicine that was calling to me. And um, it took a little while, but I was able to, uh, to get some of the medicine. And, and I just went out by myself and took the medicine on the mountainside. And I had a super profound day uh, where I ended up dialoguing with uh, the spirit of this medicine for, for a number of hours. And it answered a lot of the questions that I had uh, for my life. Um, why I went through what I had already gone through on the shamanic path and where things would, would be heading. And it was basically an offer uh, to, to take on Wachuma as my path and to have Wachuma be my main medicine and my main teacher, uh, plant, plant teacher. And if I was willing to accept that and to take that on. And, and I was, and things were very clear for me that day. And, and I knew that, that that was going to be the next phase of my life and, and potentially for the rest of my life as a medicine person and as a healer was working with this beautiful Wachuma medicine, which very, very clearly showed and explained uh, why things had happened and where I was headed. And so for me, that's how I ended up uh, becoming a Wachumero and, and leaving the, the jungle medicine path kind of behind. Of course, taking with me all of the, you know, all of the needed and, and all of the lessons and healings and, and the things that were appropriate still came with me. It's just the medicine that I am now a representative of and serving to other people had changed in a, in a big way. These medicines um, ultimately will accomplish the same things for you when done correctly. Um, and I like to talk about three things that the plant medicines can accomplish. Uh, the first is healing on all the levels of the being as a human being. <clears throat> so we're talking about beginning at the subtle energetic levels, the spirit, uh, emotional, mental, and on up to the physical. And then they help to, uh, with consciousness development. And when I talk about consciousness development, we're talking about the awareness of being aware. And then lastly, spiritual evolution, um, the evolving of the spirit. And those three things influence each other. One influences the other. When you heal yourself on all the levels of your being, your consciousness is automatically going to rise as a byproduct. And when your consciousness rises, therefore your spirit to um, your soul is going to evolve. And that's kind of coming from the, the understanding that we as, as spiritual beings potentially live more than one lifetime. For those of you who are familiar with Eastern thought, talking about living uh, multiple lifetimes or reincarnation. So the, the purpose of coming to earth is to evolve your spirit in each time, in each lifetime that you're here. So these are the thing, the, the three main things that these medicines um, accomplish. For people who, who might be undecided between choosing between the ayahuasca medicine and the Wachuma medicine, really, it, again, it's gonna boil down to what that calling is. If people know that they can have just as profound of an experience on the three levels that I mentioned, as with ayahuasca, then I think it's a little bit easier for people to make a choice to know what feels right to them. Um, but not knowing that they can work with Wachuma and have these same benefits and have these same experiences, these wild and amazing and beautiful and marvelous experiences that they're hearing about on the internet, that they're reading about in books about, what, uh, about ayahuasca, knowing that they can experience that with Wachuma, I think then it just comes down to you know what you feel in your gut, what you feel in your heart, and just knowing what's right for you. 
Some other things that you could take into consideration when choosing between the two medicines is the location. Some people may be a little bit off-put about going into the Amazon, into the jungle, because of the heat and the humidity and, and the biting insects and so forth. Um, we're here in the Andes Mountains. The climate's a little bit more mild, uh, obviously less hot, and we don't have the, the insect uh, issue that you have in the jungle. And so that might be one of the reasons why you would choose to come to the mountains versus going to, going to the jungle. I think it's good for people to know the full gamut of what they can experience in a plant medicine ceremony, which often isn't really pretty. <laughs> it's kind of getting in there, getting in deep and, and, and purging and, and crying and, and whatever needs to be done to, to facilitate the healing. But that, that happens and that's a part of it. But it shouldn't overshadow the whole experience to the extent that people think that that's all it's about is going in and feeling pain and feeling uncomfortable and and being in you know an unpleasant space uh, especially with wachuma it tends to be it's a longer journey when compared to ayahuasca and we're outside in very very beautiful um, kind of breathtaking uh, uh, landscape so it does tend to bring up a lot of joy within people and especially after you go down into the into the shadow you go down into the into the dark pits when you come out you're much lighter you're much happier and yeah it does tend to, to produce a lot of laughter sometimes uncontrollable laughter in the latter portions of the ceremony which is which is great the way that this was explained to me some years ago and I like to share with people is when we're talking about a plant medicine experience we can look at it like a three circle diagram. So one of the circles is the plant, okay? And another of those circles is the participant or patient. And the other is the practitioner, the shaman, the medicine man, or whichever uh, term you wish to refer to that person, that individual. When we're talking about the benefits that one can receive from the plant medicine experience or ceremony, Think about the diagram of the three circles. Where they overlap in the middle is where the benefits are going to be the greatest, where the effect is going to be the strongest, and the experience, therefore, is going to be the most powerful. And this is taking into consideration that all three of those aspects, um, or those beings, uh, are giving 100% to the experience. The plant always does that, okay, provided that it's been prepared properly. Um, the, uh, the, the participant, excuse me, or the patient needs to go into the ceremony with, with an intention, you know, with an intention and a willingness to do their part, <clears throat> to follow the rules of the ceremony, um, the other recommendations, and just to have the, you know, the pure intention that they're there for their highest good and for their own healing. And then lastly, the, the practitioner going in, again, <clears throat> fully prepared, knowing what he or she is doing, and uh, with the intention to, to give the greatest benefits to their patients. So when we have all three of those components, uh, the benefits are going to be the best. So this is why I think it's important for people to, uh, to work with someone who has the experience, who has the experience and has the, the intangibles that a medicine person inevitably will have if they've done the work on themselves. Provided that they've done the work on themselves, which means that they have healed themselves, they have gone through a healing journey. In uh, this way, they're able to give that, uh, transmute that, that knowing and, uh, you know, that healing medicine to, to their clients. Now this is to say, when I'm talking about those three circles, this is for people who, A, are just starting out um, in their own healing. Um, it's definitely beneficial to work with someone. This is why I recommend that. After years of training, after years of training, if somebody's been training with plant medicines for a number of years, yeah, they're able to work with the plant by themselves. They can take that that third practitioner circle out of the equation because they themselves are it and then there's two. But definitely when you're beginning, when you're just starting out with, with plant medicines and the healing journey or even a number of years in, uh, provided that the individual is not training, I'd say it's best uh, to work with, uh, you know, with a trained professional. <laughs> in sense. I want for people to know that there is an alternative to ayahuasca if for any reason that they f are feeling like they need to heal and that they need the depth of healing that the ayahuasca medicine can provide, but for whatever reason they haven't felt particularly called to it or they haven't felt like it was the right fit for them. I want people to be aware that this is an alternative. The Wachuma, Wachuma medicine is an alternative to ayahuasca. Uh, we conducted the way that I, I conduct it, 
that people can have the same depth and the same level of, uh, of experience that they can with ayahuasca. My main message here is, is today is that I wanted to come before everybody to kind of put myself out there, perhaps in a ways that I haven't in the past. So the people know that I'm here as a medicine practitioner with a big heart and a real and authentic desire to help people to grow and to heal and to expand themselves. And again, the three levels that, that I mentioned before, to heal, develop the consciousness, and um, you know, evolve your spirit.